welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad to have you here. Um, if you are new, you'll know I don't normally look like this, but um, I work out of school and today was spirit day. It was cowboy day. Give cancer the boot. It's breast cancer awareness week at school. Uh, so I'm dressed up for that. Anyways, um, it just happened to fall on the day I ordered groceries. So this video is going to be a little different than my normal grocery hauls. I'm trying to get better on schedule with my grocery purchasing. And so what I really like to do and I've been off schedule for a while is order groceries weekly, my weekly budget for a family of four, uh, myself, my husband, and then a 14 year old and a 12, almost 12 year old. Um, so some big eaters, big kids, big eaters. Um, I like ordering weekly and my budget is $75 a week. So um, I was a little over that this week just because I forgot that I needed a few things and I had already hit my 75. So I had to add a few more things after I had already placed my order. Um, otherwise, I normally will like take some things out of my cart that I don't have to have and do it that way. So this video is going to cover an entire month. So four weeks of those same types of grocery purchases so that you guys can see what our grocery for the month looks like. I prefer doing that over like a once a month shopping because I feel like inevitably, even if I think I got my monthly groceries done, I still have to go back to the store every week and I spend way more than my actual budget. So I prefer doing it this way. And so that's what this video is going to entail. So let's get right into the haul. All right, here is the haul at a whole. We don't have a ton, a ton of things, but it's just what we need again to get us through this week. Um, we also are hunters. And so we have normally we don't buy a lot of meat because we have our freezer stockpiled full of meat. So let's just go item by item. We are big cereal eaters. So we've got lots of cereal, um, some Tutti Fruities. This is the new household favorite Cheerios, Oat Crunch, and specifically the almond ones. Scotty and Riley love these. Um, and then these are, these are, this are, these are Aiden's favorite. I like them a lot as well. Blueberry Cheerios. Um, so we kind of get a mix of the not quite as healthy and healthy stuff. Um, and then we like granola bars. We are an on the go family. So Riley likes grabbing these and throwing them in her backpack. She's our 14 year old. She plays volleyball and everything. So these are good options. She loves the peanut butter ones, I think specifically, right? <laughs> um, and then Scotty really enjoys having yogurt and granola. He is still working from home. And so this is like usually his midday or afternoon snack or whatever, sometimes morning breakfast. Um, but he really enjoys yogurt and granola. I think looking at our grocery hauls on most weeks that we were um, sponsored by Great Value, we are not. I just don't have a problem with off brands. I prefer to pay a lower price for the quality. It's good, we enjoy it. So uh, anyways, so he likes Greek yogurt. He specifically likes blueberry, but I went ahead and got him one of these. Blueberry was literally the only option for flavors this week. So I went ahead and got the vanilla. Hopefully he likes it, we'll see. Um, and then we just needed some lunch meat to have on hand. So I got some black forest ham. We were out of toothpaste and this was pure accident. I added two, which again, this made me go over budget a little bit because I only needed one toothpaste and I ended up with two. Um, and then there's always a big purchase. I need a body wash. Um, it's not super expensive, but it's like $9 or something. So that's a good chunk of our weekly budget, but Hopefully not all of my big budget items fall, fall on the same week, but from time to time, unfortunately it happens. So some body wash for me. Um, and then I like having this kind of thing in our freezer between ball games and everything. It's just nice to have a quick, easy meal that we can throw. And of course this will keep forever. So if we don't have it this week, it's just one that we can have. And I've not had one in our freezer for quite some time. So I'm glad to have one restocked. And like I said, chances are we'll end up eating it sooner than later some avocados. Um, these are our favorite little batch. There's usually five in a bundle. Sometimes you get six depending on if they're like little bitties. Um, but for the price, this is a good deal. And they always grocery pickup is sometimes sketchy because you never know what you're going to get, but they always pick the best thing for me because I prefer green avocados. I'd rather them be not ripe and ripen than to be too ripe and then go bad too fast. So um, they picked the perfect ones for us. 
And then two gallons of milk. Of course, we need it for our cereals, but all of my family except myself are milk drinkers. So lots of milk. We prefer the Highland. The Prairie Farm or whatever the Walmart brand is just goes bad way too fast for us. It just doesn't taste as good and fresh. We've been out of paper plates forever. Last time I went to order some, they were out of stock. So I ordered, I actually normally order the 100 pack. They didn't have them, so I got 250 packs. Um, and then just some bread. And I actually ordered the Great Value Honey Wheat Bread. They did not have it, so this was my only substitution. They always substitute up. So if they don't have what you want, they'll give you a more name brand, a higher priced item, but you only pay the price of the lower priced item. So that's a nice feature of it as well. We were out of eggs and we have been for a little while, so we had to get some eggs. Riley requested high chews, so I aim to please. Tell me my kids aren't spoiled. I'll tell you you're lying, because they are. Um, and then that includes my students at school because these are for my classroom. They're actually for birthday bags, so they're not for them to just have, but um, I like putting a little soda in their birthday bags and I wanted to have some in my desk because I have several birthdays coming up in October. Um, and then this is pink week at school. So Riley's volleyball team is having a bake sale. So we got a cake mix and frosting with sprinkles. I didn't know it came with sprinkles, so I bought sprinkles. And then these little pearls. And then I got these cups because they had two different pink um, cups in there. And then these cellophane bags to package them in. Um, but that's it for this week. I will do this again next week and add it to the same vlog. So see you then. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of grocery hauls. So, so this is week two of my Walmart grocery pickup. There are far less items this week. Just, we just, we just didn't need very much stuff. So uh, let me walk you through the things that I picked up this week on Walmart Grocery Pickup. So we did need some laundry items. So we were getting close to low on detergent. And I have a feeling the next time I order groceries, I'm going to need a lot more than this. So this is it as a whole. So I went ahead and ordered that so I don't have a big purchase on a week that I have a bunch of grocery needs. Um, and then I also needed borax. So picked up those two things. Um, we needed some vegetable oil. Scotty wanted some pickle okra, so I think I say it every time, but he's still working from home, so it's good to have things that he enjoys eating um, on hand. Um, tonight for dinner, we are having fried sausage and potatoes with macaroni and cheese, and we are out of macaroni and cheese. Also, we're having the minis over, so I got two boxes because those will fill some bellies. We needed coffee. This is our absolute favorite coffee of all the coffees we buy. The price is so low. It's like 14, less than $15 for a 48 K cups. Um, but the flavor is so good of this coffee. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try if you're looking for a cheap coffee alternative. Um, and then again, Scotty needed some bread for sandwiches and stuff for his week. Um, tomatoes. I need to look at my receipt because I don't remember ordering two packs of tomatoes. So I don't know if they just gave me two packs since there was only four. I don't know what happened. So anyways, um, I got two packs of tomatoes. Did I say potatoes or tomatoes? Tomatoes. Um, and then I just picked up some strawberries and some bananas just because we have not had fresh fruit in quite some time and we needed it. <laughs> Um, and then I want to have, I didn't say with this, I want to have some salads this week. So got some iceberg lettuce. Um, and then as always, Scotty likes having his Greek yogurt and granola. And then we were out of grape jelly. So I grabbed some grape jelly and then some sunflower seed kernels for our salads. And then I ordered just my normal pickled beets, which are the great value kind. And they did not have them. So they upgraded like I've said it before but that's one of my favorite things about Walmart grocery pickup they don't just give you you know just any random thing they always upgrade your purchase so I actually love that this is in a resellable jar didn't even know this was a thing um, if the flavor is right like I will certainly be buying more of these because then I can just reseal the thing so I don't know what the original price is if I can find it I'll put original but I only paid 87 cents for them because I ordered the great value ones um, and then Scotty was out of chimichangas, so I got just the regular beef and bean, and then the spicy jalapeno bean and cheese. So that's it. That's our tiny little grocery haul this week. It's only things that we needed. So I think I said it at the intro of this video, which was actually a week ago for me at this point, so I don't really remember what I said, but um, by buying groceries once a week, 
um, we buy less things because we only have on hand what we need. And also doing Walmart grocery online pickup, I'm only getting what I need instead of going into the store and be like, oh, well, I want this too. And I want this too, or I need this too. And then I end up buying it and I don't actually need it. So anyway, helps me stay on budget, only get what I need. And we're not, we don't have like a huge surplus of stuff that we don't need. So anyway, that's it for this week's. I'll see you next week. Hey guys, uh, for you guys, it's been a minute for me. It's been a week. So I've got another grocery haul for you guys. Um, I think it's three now that I'm on now this one. I did not place an online order. Um, and so I went over budget. So also I had a bunch of other purchases I had to make while I was there. Um, but as far as the grocery only portion, I went over budget, but there's two seasonal items that were not on my list that kind of caused me to go over budget. So we'll go over those. Um, they're definitely our favorites for this time of year. Um, so I couldn't pass them up for the first time of the season. So anyways, let's get into this week's haul. All right. So here it is as a whole. Um, so let's break it down piece by piece. All right, so as always, we need cereal because we eat cereal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner a lot of times because uh, who has time to cook anymore? But thankfully, tonight is, well, this weekend is the last of the volleyball season, so we'll get back to normal life, normal meals, cooking at home, all that jazz. Anyways, so cereal, um, talked about this, probably been in every one of my hauls so far, um, so got that, and then Aiden picked, actually Riley picked this out, but Aiden agreed, so got that. Um, and then I like some oatmeal. I actually prefer that over the Quaker. I think I said that in a more recent vlog. I'm not sure if it's in this video or my last, but, um, the, I don't know. I got the Quaker one time cause they were out of this and I just prefer that. It's actually so good. Um, and then cream of wheat, we were almost out of that. This stuff will last us like a year probably. So that's not something we have to buy very often, but it was out on the calendar the other day. Somebody made some and I noticed that it was almost empty. Um, yeah, it doesn't expire till 23. So we're good. We're set, <laughs> but okay. This is seasonal item. Number one, um, Pillsbury grands, pumpkin spice rolls. These are ridiculously good. The entire family loves them. Um, and they only make them through the fall season. And then two Christmases ago, they made like a hot chocolate one but we could not find it last year. So I'm hoping they do the hot chocolate once again this year because they were stupid good. But these are very, very, very good. If you like pumpkin spice, pumpkin roll type of stuff, um, they're delicious. So got Scotty some more yogurt. Um, he loves the blueberry. So I got him that. And then I got him a key lime this time. So something new for him to try. I think he'll like that. I think he likes key lime pie. So He'll like that. Um, and then I got some butter because we were out. We've been out of stick butter for quite a while. So I had to pick those up. And then sour cream. While I was over by the butter, like the dairy stuff. Actually, I guess it was while I was over by the cheese. I remembered we used our last cream cheese a little while back. I like having it on hand. Um, it's kind of chili season and we make this crock pot chicken chili. Um, so I definitely wanted to have some on hand for that. Um, we also needed some cheese. I never get the pre-shredded unless it's for an event. I always get the block. I think it stays fresher longer than the pre-shredded. Um, I think I already talked about stick butter. Yeah. Um, and then these are for Sunday school. This will last us like two weeks usually in Sunday school. This is holiday item number two or seasonal item number two. Starbucks holiday blend. It's so stinking good. If you haven't tried it and you like different coffees, give it a try. I think you will really enjoy it. It's just got, it's not flavored. It's not like a flavored coffee, but it's, it's just got really good flavor in the coffee. If you're a coffee person, you know what I mean. <laughs> if you're not a coffee person, I'm sorry. You might just have to try it to know what I'm talking about. Um, we need a cat litter because we have a cat, blah, blah, <laughs> uh, milk, two gallons of milk. Um, that's kind of how we roll all the family except myself drinks milk and with the amount of cereal we eat we need lots of milk um and then these are the last few things that we needed and then i'll get to the few other things i got contact solution literally out 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 i was using my travel one and i don't want to use up all my travel one um so got a contact solution Riley was out of shampoo and conditioner. We both have a slight wave to our hair, so she likes this flawless curls. It kind of just accentuates that wave a little bit. Um, and then, oh, mascara. This is one of the things I did need. I was out of mascara, um, and this is what I use. It's what I've used for years and years. So CoverGirl, Professional Remarkable, 
very black. That is my um, mascara. There's my cat. Oh, <laughs> she's peeking in by the litter. Um, okay, and so the few things that weren't on my list that I needed to pick up were um, a bedding set. So if you're following our weekly vlogs, you'll know that Riley, we built Riley a new bed, got her a new mattress. She went from a twin to a full, and we don't have any full-size bedding. So we needed to get her a bedding set. This was only like $32, I think, so not bad for an eight-piece set. It's um, a comforter, a full sheet, a flat a, oh, a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and two pillowcases and two pillow shams. Oh, and a bed skirt. So anyway, I thought it was a pretty good deal. It's just light gray, so it kind of goes with her aesthetic of her room. I think the sheet is actually white or a very light gray. Um, and then for my classroom, I needed some headphones. Um, all the kids have headphones with their Chromebooks, but they don't bring their Chromebooks to my classroom. And we're fixing to start a program and we only have the one computer in my classroom, so I'll just wipe these down every day, um, or between all the students. And it'll only be one student per class per day that works on the computer. Um, so they could obviously bring their own earbuds or earphones, but I think I just want to have these in the classroom. And I think they were $10. Didn't really want to spend $10 on them, but I need them, so it is what it is. Um, and then, yeah, I think that that's it. Um, of course I got a lemonade. Me and all, both the kids got lemonade. We also had to pick up some gifts for Riley's volleyball sister. So today, like I said, is possibly their last game. And so she wanted to get her volleyball sister, um, one last little gift. And so we got a couple things for that. So of course caused us to kind of go over budget, but, um, it's okay. As far as what was on my list, I did okay other than those seasonal items that were not planned. Um, and then we went to Sam's Club over the weekend and got some bread. I'll go ahead and show you that since this is a grocery haul. Um, picked up this two pack of oat nut bread. I think it's like 380 something at Walmart for one of these and it's 480 at um, Sam's Club for two of them. So we'll just throw them in the freezer and they'll be good to go for a long time. And we also got like a big pack of bell peppers and we got some potatoes so it looks like we don't get a lot of like vegetables and stuff when we go shopping but I pick them up from sam's club a lot of times and stuff like that and they actually last us quite a while when we do pick up things like that so anyway that is this week's grocery haul i think i'm going to do one more that way i have four weeks total um so i'll see you in the next little portion of this all right guys i am back even though it seems like it's been a few minutes seconds it was just a second ago whenever i did the last haul. It has been an entire week. So I have another grocery haul for you guys. This should complete our four weeks, what we buy in a month grocery haul. So let's get to it. All right. Let me go wide angle so you can see it all. This is everything we got this month, this week. This is everything we got this week as a whole. So let's break it down and go piece by piece. As always, cereal, if you haven't figured it out by now, cereal is an enormous staple in our household. So we've got the ever popular Cheerios, Oat Crunch and Almond, um, Honey Nut Spooners, not Honey Nut, was Frosted Mini Spooners. Those are my favorite, that was my choice. And then um, basically Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Cinnamon Toasters, um, and then Granola and this is granola. This is yogurt. Granola and yogurt um, are a staple also. Scotty enjoys having those on hand always. Needed some onions. I'm down to one, so I wanted to pick up another. I like this pack that you get because you get several and they're all pretty small. So like when it calls for one onion and you usually get red onions, they're like enormous. But this is truly a one onion size of bag of onions. Um... I got some bacon because we are out of bacon and some breakfast sausage. Um, breakfast is kind of a theme always for us. We eat a lot of breakfast foods apparently, but um, I got some smoked sausage. There's several dishes I make with this. Um, soups, fried sausage and potatoes. Um, so it's a good thing to have on hand. It's very affordable. Good thing to have on hand. And then some muffin mixes. We were in the baked goods aisle for another reason. Um, You'll see that stuff in a minute. But Scotty said, oh, we need some muffins for Sundays. So we picked up a few. These are like 98 cents each. So it's definitely quite the deal there. I plan on making some potato soup. And I like putting this ham in there. So I picked up a small pack of that. This is also great for omelets. Oh, it actually literally says great for omelets. Um, but when I make omelets, I always have this on hand for those. Um, got some frozen waffles. It's been a minute since we've had these. The kids were very excited to get those. Um, some 
chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Aiden asked for that. Um, the family went with me this time too. That's another thing. I had a very minimal list. The family went with me. I did not order online. We just walked around the store and picked up what we needed. So um, we stayed on track pretty well, pretty well. Um, I got some corn on the cob. Just It's a good thing to have in our freezer. We enjoy it. Haven't bought it in quite a while. So I wanted to grab a pack of that. Tater tots. I like having these on hand for tater tot casserole, just a side dish, all those kinds of things. So we're out of those. I just used the rest of them the other day for tater tot casserole. So needed to replenish those. Um, pepperoni, I like these just for snacking, so just needed a pack of those. Some sliced cheese, cheese slices. Um, I got a double pack of eggs just because we went through the last pack really fast, so I figured I would grab another pack of those. Toilet paper, we were down to our last roll, I believe, um, unless there's some in the laundry room, but I didn't check, so I knew we only had one roll in the drawer, so grabbed a pack of that. Um, I grabbed a couple of Top Ramen cups because, um, I don't know, it just sounded good for me and I would like to take it for my lunch a couple of times. Tomato soup. Over the weekend I wanted tomato soup and we didn't have any so I grabbed several cans of that. These are the things we knew we needed on the baking aisle. So Riley is making cake pops for student council tomorrow so my oven's ready for this right here. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but she's making cake pops for student council because tomorrow's our trunk or treat and stuff at school and all the Halloween parties. So the student council is making goodies for all the teachers. So we're fixing to make cake pops. Um, milk as always, two gallons, about two gallons per week is what we've been going through lately. Um, so we got cake mix, icing, candy melts, little bags to put on the cake pops and cake pop stip sticks, as well as some ribbon to tie the little bags. And then Riley and Scotty both needed deodorant. This is what Riley uses. It is men's, but it doesn't smell like men's and it works really good for her. And this is what Scotty uses. The soft solid, he's used this for years and years, still works great for him. That man never stinks, I don't think. Um, we've been together 21 years and I still don't think he stinks. Anyways, um, got some of this market side pizza, so Supreme Pizza, and then we got the Meat Trio Pizza. These are really good. They're only $5 each, so that's a $10 dinner for a family of four, plus it's gonna be leftovers probably, um, so definitely a good deal there. And then lastly, I grabbed these Happy Planner stickers. They were on clearance, um, almost $5 off. And I've just been ridiculously into planning lately, and I just really like having the stickers on hand. And I just flipped, did a quick flip through, and there was a lot in here that I will definitely use. So anyway, went ahead and grabbed that while on clearance. We always go down the clearance aisle. So that was my find on the clearance aisle. So again, that's everything from this week as a whole. All right, like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like this kind of style of video where I did it in four different increments, or if you rather have just like weekly, um, let me know, please let me know in the comments. Like, how do you do your grocery shopping? Do you go once a month? Do you go bi-weekly? <laughs> do you go every week? Um, like I do, I just think it's most effective for us, for our family, for our lifestyle, the way that we operate. Um, I don't know. I just always seem to have to make the extra trips to the store every week anyways, if I don't go weekly. So I would rather just go weekly and pick up the few things that we need. So anyways, if you liked this style of video doing four in a row for one month, one video, let me know that and I will continue to do them this way. I might pop in and do a random weekly one every once in a while too. If you prefer it that way, make sure you let me know that too. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me on my weekly vlogs. I know that's about all that's been coming out lately, but um, I'm finally glad to get another video out. If you, if you haven't seen my other haul videos, make sure you go check those out. I have a playlist. Um, I'll link that for you in the cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.